2.4 Physical Properties of Matter Why are drag car standards constantly reinforced? Drag racing is a highly competitive and expensive sport. There are a variety of classes of vehicles ranging from stock classes depending on the car weight, engine size, and degree of engine modification, all the way up to the top fuel class with weights of over 2,000 pounds and capable of top speeds of well over 300 miles per hour at the end of the quarter mile. The standards for each class are well defined and frequent checks are made of engine dimensions and components to ensure that the rules are followed. Physical properties. A physical property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. Silver is a shiny metal that conducts electricity very well. It can be molded in, into thin sheets, a property called malleability. Salt is dull and brittle and conducts electricity when it has been dissolved in water, which it does quite easily. Physical properties of matter include color, hardness, malleability, solubility, which is the ability to be dissolved, electrical conductivity, density, melting points, and boiling points. For the elements, color does not vary much from one element to the next. The vast majority of elements are colorless, silver, or gray. Some elements do have distinctive colors. Sulfur and chlorine are yellow. Copper is, of course, copper colored. And elemental bromine is red. Density can be a very useful parameter for identifying an element. Of the materials that exist as solids at room temperature, iodine has a very low density compared to zinc, zinc, chromium, and tin. Gold has a very high density, as does platinum. Remember, density we can determine by dividing the mass over volume. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. Hardness helps to determine how an element, especially a metal, might be used. Many elements are fairly soft, silver and gold, for example, while others, such as titanium, tungsten, and chromium, are much harder. Carbon is an interesting example of hardness. In graphite, the lead found in pencils, the carbon is very soft. In fact, rubbing across a piece of paper, will rub, it will rub off. While the carbon in a diamond is roughly seven times as hard. Very hard. You can see carbon in graphite, carbon in diamond form. Melting and boiling points are somewhat unique identifiers, especially of compounds. In addition to giving some ideas, idea as to the identity of the compound, important information can be obtained about the purity of a material. Watch this video for more information. Is that really gold? Archimedes and density. How do you determine the density of an irregularly shaped object? Learn how Archimedes did this thousands of years ago with just a beaker, water, and some simple math. This is a good demonstration of showing water displacement for irregularly shaped objects. This simulation explores states of matter and the physical properties of water. Feel free to play with this a little bit. In summary, a physical property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. So these are things we can look at like the color, the density, hardness, melting point, boiling points. If we look at those, we determine the physical properties of an object, the object or the substance remains unchanged. We can observe the melting point without changing it. We can observe the boiling point without changing it. That is, as an example, um, if you boil water, it doesn't change the nature of water. Um, it becomes a gas, but it's still H2O. So a big misconception I've noticed with some students is that when you boil water, you're not separating it into hydrogen and oxygen. You're actually just turning the water into a gas state, it's still H2O. So that wraps up physical properties. Thanks for listening.